Last class we were saying about the movement. Movement in different animals like fish, birds, earthworm and the human. Now we are going to see about the different kinds of joints in human being. What is the meaning of joint or define a joint? The point at which two separate bones meet is called as a joint. Understand the point at which two separate bones, rendu thani thaniyana bone yengal sandhikido, we are called as joints. So, according to the uh, presence of bones, the types of joints are three. Fixed, slightly movable and movable bones. Slightly movable and immovable, sorry, movable bones. So, fixed means immovable bones, slightly movable and movable bones. We see one by one. First one is fixed or immovable bones, immovable joints. Here, no movement is possible between two bones. The bones are fixed in nature. Understand? So, example, the bones present in the skull of human. Understand? Then second one is slightly movable joint. Slightly means from a lesser. That is, uh, it is otherwise known as partial movable joint or the bones are going to very little movement. Example, joint between a rib and a breast bones and also between the vertebrae. Understand? So the vertebrae bones are slightly movable joint. And third one is free movable joint. That is called as varying degree of movement is possible between two bones. Where we have a chance to move on the bones. We are called as free movable joints. Understand? So, I will give you some examples in the book. First one is ball and socket joint. Pantikin na mutte. Where is it? Shoulder and hip. So, this ball and socket joint move in three planes. Three planes are rotated. Second one is hinge joint present in the elbow and knee ankle. Knee ankle you know. That is move in only one plane. Third one is pivot joint present in the spine or the vertebral column. That is also move in only one plane. And the fourth one is condyloid joint. That is present in the wrist move in two plates. Fourth one is gliding joints. This is also present in the spine move in three plates but to a limited 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 or konjo kurupi talaudhanam on the thirupambiya the gliding joint. Then sixth one is saddle present in the thump inner ear. So the movement is nothing but the flexion and extension and abduction and adduction movement is seen. So these are the, these joints are nothing but the free movable joint. Understand? Next one is synovial joint. A joint which makes connection between two bones that is consisting of a consisting of a cartilage cavity filled with fluid which is known as dia, diarthrosis joint that is a joint which makes connection between two bones consisting of a cartilage cavity filled with fluid which is known as diarthrosis joint so the synovial, synovial joint most are flexible joint between two bones Understand flexible joint between two bones. The bones are not physically connected. They can move more freely in relation to each other. Understand? The synovial joints have four main distinct features. What are the first one is a ligament. Ligament which connects bone to bone. The fluid which is present in the joint we are called as synovial fluid. That is which reduce the friction of the joint. Third one is articular cartilage that absorbs shock, absorbs shock and to prevent friction between the end of the 
ends of the bones in the joint understand finally joint capsule which strengthen the joint understand and also it secretes the synovial fluid synovial fluid is secreted by the joint capsule understand the next one is skeletal system the skeletal system provides the hard structure and or framework of the body if the skeleton suppose without joints no movement is seen abadi nam epdi fixed ah nam irupom the skeletal system which composed of connective tissue bone connective tissue like bones cartilage tendons and ligaments if the skeleton without joints no movement takes place the significance of human being is will be no more than a stone nam kallu mari apdiye da irupo understand and the basis of presence the skeletal systems divided into two types that is exoskeleton and endoskeleton so exo means outer exo means outer endo means inner the exoskeleton is present out of the body that is origin from the ectoderm or mesoderm of the embryo stage in the embryo stage so there are so many exoskeleton that is scales of fishes hard layer of tortoise the arm of wood feathers of birds feathers of birds and the skin of human body the dead the outer layer of the skin possesses dead layer dead layer of cells which also protects the body understand and also protects the inner organs also protected by the endo sorry exoskeleton then next one is endoskeleton endoskeleton is present inside the human body they are origin from the mesoderm they are found almost all vertebrates not only human being but also present all vertebrates which forms the main body structure understand what are the functions of the skeletal system the skeletal system provides the structure and the shape to the body it also supports and surrounds the internal organs especially the internal organs are protected by the endoskeleton then the calcium and phosphorus are very essential minerals regarding the human being which is also stored in the bones then the rbc the red blood corpuscles are produced from the bone marrow and the skeletal system act as the levers of the muscular system understand what are the constituents of skeleton human skeleton consists of bone cartilage ligaments which are gives the hard framework of the body understand so bones are two types cartilage and bone cartilage is a flexible one where bone is hardest part of the body the cartilage connect and support the structures example pinna which is flexible then tip of nose understand the ligaments binds the bone together bone la undu namba bind pandrathu ligaments understand so there are different types of bones in human skeletal systems are long bones neelamana elumbu enga irukna nammude arms and legs then sharp bones wrist ankle and vertebral column then flat bones skull rib and shoulder bones irregular bones irregular bones are present in mandibles spine palatine inferior nasal concha and hyoid understand thank you